What's going on guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? Today we're going to be talking about teachers outing trans kids. If you want to like and subscribe after watching this video, please do. You see the donations over there. We're working our way towards the PC soundboard. Much love. Okay, let's get to it. If y'all remember this individual, this individual is somebody that I had showed before. Um, it's, been a, it's been about a month, maybe a month and a half. Um, they were talking about the, the counselor camp, right? Uh, the trans camp. And so, I mean, not trans camp, I mean, queer camp is what it was called. And so, uh, this person prov uh, provides an argument, and I want to, you know, just give my response. So, here we go. School districts are passing these policies requiring teachers. It is positively wild seeing how many school districts are passing these policies requiring teachers to out their trans kids to their parents. Like, I know we're in the season of uncalled for transphobia, but I've never seen someone miss the mark this hard. They obviously think this is necessary, but for what exactly? Do they think that teachers are really like this entire group of malicious secret keepers? We're like super desperate to break apart the family unit. Teaching is a very particular profession. We want our kids to connect with their family. We have evidence that makes them more successful, happier. Do you want a queer kid to thrive? as an adult having support from their family is like a great start so let's think why might that not be happening if a kid isn't telling their family they're trans it's not because they're being influenced by a teacher it's probably because they've gotten some indication that if they tell their family it's not going to be safe and if a student feels like it's not going to be safe the way we fix that is not by forcing us to tell their family. Like, let's imagine for a second that kids are people. The kind of people who, like in my case in high school, are developing autonomy and individuality and the ability to express it. Can you, as a fellow person, for a moment, imagine what it's like to have this conversation taken away from you? Instead of getting to talk about it on your terms in your time, it's a state-mandated phone call from your algebra teacher, and now something so deeply personal that you were hoping to have control over is taken away from you. And now maybe you don't have a place to stay tonight or anywhere to go. This doesn't fix anything. That's, it is positively that, wild seeing how many school was wild. So let's break it down bit by bit. Welcome to Trey's breakdown video. We're actually going to go through this because this is an argument presented and I want to go through each point. So let's go districts are passing these policies requiring teachers to out their trans kids to their parents. Like I know we're in the season. Of okay, so what? first of all, that's miss. That's a misquoting the misinformation right there. It is not a bill or a. Uh, act that is saying out your trans kids to your parents it is saying the the point of the bill is that was the reason that it had started but it's more of a privacy thing like you can't keep stuff from the parents right if a kid is struggling with suicidal ideology you can't keep that from the parents if the kid is struggling with depression you can't keep that from the parents if a kid is struggling with gender gender identification issues which is what it goes into you must tell the parents. But every time when we try to have this discussion, it gets pushed into, oh, well, it's a trans thing. It's transphobia. No, it's saying that you can't keep stuff from the parents. Okay? Can we just get that straight? of uncalled for transphobia, but I've never seen someone miss the mark this hard. They obviously think this is necessary, but for what exactly? Do they think that teachers are really like this entire group of malicious secret keepers? All right, let's break that down. How many TikToks have we seen from teachers that are saying that if their kid, that if a kid comes out and says, I want to be a boy, they would not tell the parents. If the kid comes out and says, I want to be a girl, they would not tell the parents. How many times have we seen teachers come out and say, I would keep all this stuff from them because the parents don't deserve to know? So, yes, you're saying that do, you, do we think teachers are secret keepers? Absolutely. If that wasn't the case, then they wouldn't have even came up with the bill in the first place because the parents were parents knew all this stuff. You, you're literally making a video saying that we shouldn't tell the parents. And then you say, do you think teachers are being secret keepers? You, you're you're not you're, you're breaking down your own argument. You simply you're just saying that you're against uh teachers telling the parents but they're saying what do you think teachers are secret keepers what if the key teachers aren't secret keepers then why would this bill affect or you have any attitude on it because if the kid the parent the, the teachers weren't keeping this away from the parents then we wouldn't be going through this in the first place you literally see somebody in the comments who says there are four teachers in my family all four of them said they wouldn't even if this, they said, even if this passed, uh, they might think they meant to say pass, even if this passed in their district, they would not follow it. That's my whole point. So this tells you right here, even if you have people in your chat saying this and you're saying that, what do we think teachers the secret keepers? Come on. We're like super desperate to break apart the family unit. Teach super desperate to break apart the family union. You said it perfectly. 
You said it absolutely perfectly. Or are they trying to break apart the family union? I don't think they're trying to break apart the family unit, but they are trying to keep the parents out of every situation like they're like they have control of everything. You know how much pride it takes to do that? Do you know how much power it must feel like to be able to do that? That if a kid tells you something, you keep it in front of the parents like you're a little like you're a little kid and you're you're trying not to uh you're trying to play keep away. If the if the kid is failing, are you gonna tell the parents? If the kid is beating up other kids, are you gonna tell the parents? If the kid is being bullied, are you gonna tell the parents? Right? And if the kid is being bullied, let's say they're being bullied because they are struggling with their identity, right? Are you gonna tell the parents? You're gonna have to tell the parents, right? You can't just say they're being bullied for no reason. You have to say they're being bullied because Jimmy thinks that or Jimmy believes that he's a girl. You're gonna have to say something. So this whole thing about playing keep away doesn't help anybody. Because if you if what you say is true, right, change kids always get bullied. If you don't tell the parents why the kid is getting bullied, how can they help? Huh? Huh? If the kid is getting bullied, what are you going to tell the parents? That is my point. You have you can't play keep away because then if a kid gets beat up or gets seriously harmed because what you guys say is because they were trans, but the parent never knew, who are you going to blame? The parents. And the parents be like, I didn't even know I didn't even know Jimmy was getting bullied for that. They just told me he was getting bullied. I had no idea why. Because they're playing keep away like goofballs. Let's continue. Teaching is a very particular profession. We want our kids to connect with their family. We have evidence that makes them more successful. That's not true. That's not true. You want them to connect with the family. Why would you keep play keep away? Taking that stuff out of their hands is not keep making the family get together because it's just a matter of time before they find out. You understand it, right? It's a matter of time before the parents find out. They're going to hear through the grapevine somewhere, what, one way or another, that what's going on. And then you're going to feel, then you're going to really start messing up the family, right? Because now they can't trust you and they dang sure can't trust you with the kids. So to say that you're trying to keep the family together by playing keep away, that doesn't make any sense. We have evidence uh, that makes them more successful. What? Family. We have evidence that makes them more successful. Oh, happier. Yeah, yeah. You okay. I want a queer kid to thrive as an adult. Having support from their family is like a great start. So let's think. How can they have support if you're not saying anything to them? Why might that not be happening? If a kid isn't telling their family they're trans, it's not because they're being influenced by a teacher. It's probably because they've gotten some indication that if they tell their family, it's not going to be safe. And if is that is that always the situation? See, I always hate that they always go to the worst situation. We can't assume the parents are doing that. The, the reason they might not be telling the parents is because of the way you act around them, right? We see way too many vid videos of teachers talking about this kind of stuff, saying that their kids are scared to tell their parents. We, we, here's the thing, and I've been a child. We've all been children at some point. I've been scared to tell my parents things, but my teachers told them anyway, and I still have to go through it. And I love that because playing keep away with my parents does not help anything, right? Even if a kid is a, f and I understand there are some cases, maybe a, maybe a parent would go off the wall and be abusive to their child. But you got to understand, and I, I'm trying to try to say this as nicely as I can. The kids that I've met, and I've worked with kids for over 20, um, not over 20 years, but 20 years. I, I've met kids that have been very harmed by their parents and are afraid to tell their parents stuff. I've been down that road. I'm sure you have too as a teacher. But here's something, right? Those parents will be that way regardless of what's going on. And most of the time, we know that kid is going through that kind of stuff. It's not like oblivious to us that a kid is doing that because the the walls talk, okay? When you're a teacher, most of the time we know what kids are going through at home, okay? Most of the time. So it's 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 not very likely that you would, a kid would tell you that they're trans and afraid they're going to get beat up or something like that or that they think their parents are going to disown them. And you don't already know how the parents are. That's why you have meet and greets. That's why you're always communicating with the teachers. I mean, communicating with the parents and learning all this stuff. So it's not going to, it's unlikely that you're not going to know that. So to keep that from them, because you think that's going to happen, you should absolutely know that first. I would not assume the worst in parents before you know that that's not right. Now, if you know that about the parents, it's a completely different discussion. That's a completely different topic for another day. But if you don't know that about the parents, I think it's disingenuous to assume that a kid's not telling their parents because they're afraid 
that the parents are going to do something. Even if the kid is telling you that, understand. And I know this may sound goofy, but kids lie. Kids lie. There's a lot of kids that I know lie on their parents and say that they're this, they're that, they're all these awful things. Guess who also did that? Me. I used to say some things about my parents that were just not true because it came with attention. It made me look like the better person. You never know what a kid's going through, but kids can lie about their parents to make themselves feel better and as, to make you as a teacher feel sorry for them. I've been through it. I've done it. I met kids who've done it, and I was a kid who did it, right? Just saying. If a student feels like it's not going to be safe, the way we fix that is not by forcing us to tell their unions are having a moment this summer. And it is positively wild seeing how many school districts are passed because they've gotten some indication that if they tell their family, it's not going to be safe. And if a student feels like it's not going to be safe, the way we fix that is not by forcing us to tell their family. Like, let's imagine for a second that kids are people, kind of people who, like in my case in high school, are developing autonomy and individuality and the ability to express it. Can you, as a fellow person, for a moment, imagine what it's like to have this conversation taken away from you? That's the thing is you don't understand that you're always misunderstanding. We've all, you're talking to adults. If this video is for adults, then yes, we do understand. The vast majority of adults understand what it's like to be a kid. I don't know why we always make it feel like when a person becomes a parent, they just become stupid. Like, like when I, when I became a parent, it's like, oh, I just lost all inhibition to think about what it's like to be a kid now. It's like, even though I work with kids or even though I've been a child and even though I have my own kids, you just think I lost. You think I just, when I, when a person has a child and that child goes to school, that these parents have no idea what it's like to be a children. Or so there's some nuance to it. Yes, but to say that every parent who has a kid is pretty much what you're saying is that, do you understand what it's like to have that conversation? Yes, we do. Yes, we grew up too. Yes, we have been kids before too. It's not like we were kids 80 years ago. Most of the people have kids somewhere around their 30, so it's only been about maybe 15 years since they were in high school by the time they have a kid. And if they have a kid that's in high school, yeah, it's been some time, but it's not like we uh, us adults get dumber and dumber and dumber as age goes on. Maybe when we start getting up there, our mental starts to decline a little bit. But just to say that we're idiots and we have no idea what our parents, what our kids are going through. We have to have some inclination. You're once again, I believe they're assuming that these parents or most parents don't care. Now, either that or they're saying that there's going to be a small, a small minority of kids that are scared to tell their parents. But once again, that is a situation that you cannot push towards the general. Just because there's a huge selection of kids that are going through this doesn't mean every parent shouldn't know what their kid is going through. Right. We make we, we deal with things specifically. Right. If a kid is getting bullied at school all the time, of course, we're going to address it. We're going to address all the parents. We're going to try to put policies in place to help those kids from getting bullied right but that doesn't mean you would keep that from the parent that they're getting bullied right you wouldn't just start doing that kind of stuff and just saying well because these kids are getting bullied for wearing uh, having pink hair uh we're just gonna make it to where you know we're not gonna tell you if your kids having pink hair it's just like i, I don't know the, to me it just doesn't make sense that's where my logic is going that if you're saying we're supposed to protect trans kids but you try to protect them from the parents but also protect them from the kids who are probably bullying them who's gonna protect them then the parents don't know what's going on only the teachers know what's going on and then you're gonna blame the parents when something goes wrong because the parents never knew i just don't see how that works Instead of getting to talk about it on your terms in your time, it's a state mandated phone call from your algebra teacher. And now something so deep. Why, why you disrespect the algebra teacher? You just, you, I thought teachers were supposed to be important. The way you said that was your algebra teacher. Yeah. It's a teacher, ain't it? It's a teacher. You, or you want me to respect them or not? If I, I take the, if I take the job seriously and I think this person is really having an impact on my kid's life. It's not just an algebra teacher. No, it's. An algebra teacher is a teacher that my son or daughter is going through that is trying to tell me something important. So I don't think it's just an algebra teacher. You're making it seem like the teachers are God. You know what I'm saying? The teacher should know all and it should end all with them. So why are you saying it like? <laughs> personal me crazy. We're hoping to have control over is taken away from you. And now maybe you don't have a place to stay tonight. Personal that you were hoping to have control over is taken away from you. And now maybe you don't have a place to stay tonight or anywhere to go. See, that's a, that's a terrible way to end things. 
you feel like you're expressing yourself. And then the second you do, now, now we've taken that away from you. That's what parents are there for. We're there to protect our children. We're there to be there for our children. You keep acting like us wanting to know what's... All right, we can put the camera back on me. You keep acting like us wanting to know what's going on with our kids. It's us trying to be malicious and evil. It's just crazy to me to think that people want to keep something so important, like my kids struggling with gender struggling with maybe gender dysphoria or struggling with their identification or struggling with something that is can be very serious that could lead to surgeries or lead to other stuff and you you tell me to take being trans so seriously like it's life or death but you won't tell me my kids going through it because you think that if i am an awful parent right and you tell me that my kids going through it they won't have anywhere to sleep tonight what what like what to me, what good does that do? That pretty much puts a divide between us parents and you teachers, because if you put that divide between us, we can't come to any kind of uh, we can't come to anything. I can't even trust you because now I believe and based off this video, even with that act and bill in place. Right. I can't trust the teachers. I will have no idea if my kid is really struggling with gender identity until they come home one day. And they're dressing like a different person. And most of the time, parents are paying attention to the kids. Their kid is not going to be able to start changing clothes and acting differently. The parents just could be like, oh, they know my kid's the greatest actor on the planet. My kid was the greatest actress to ever hit the earth. Right. It's like you understand that parents understand. I just parents understand their kids for the most part. Most people are average, but you're taking it to the extreme that most parents don't care if their kid is trans. And if they find out, they're going to kick them out of the house and they're going to be on the streets eating out of boxes, which would be illegal. You understand that, right? A kid, a, a parent kicking a kid out, which is what you said, they don't have anywhere to go, nowhere to sleep, would be illegal. So you're saying, instead of talking to the kid, instead of being like, okay, let me try to figure this out. You think the scenario that would happen is that there's going to be that one trans kid who tells their parents they're trans and they're going to be on the streets eating out of a box. Those would be awful parents. You understand that, right? That would be awful parents, but you're making it seem as if the average parent is awful by saying that we shouldn't put this in place because you want to protect that one kid who has bad parents. You can't do that because there's too many parents who want to know what's going on with their kid, but they're already having to work. They have to go to work every day because that's just how the economy is. We have to work. So I don't get off till five o'clock in the afternoon. My wife doesn't get off till five o'clock. So what am I supposed to do? Right. You can't you can't force me to be like, man, I, I can't know anything about my kid, even though I'm working, I'm providing, I'm doing everything I can for my kid because I love him. Right. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a father. I'm providing. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. And you're going to punish me by saying that you think that, you know, better for my child because you think I'm going to treat them badly if I find out that they're struggling with their identity, which most kids don't. But still. So you're going to take that small percentage of kids that do struggle with that. And if Billy gets bullied or gets beat up, I'm not going to know because you were afraid that I was going to do something bad to them. Most teachers, once again, I'm going to reiterate, reiterate this one more time. I've worked with tons of teachers, been doing working with kids for more, about, about 20 years. Okay. How, how can you not know that parents are like that? Most of the time when parents are bad with their children, meaning they are not the greatest parents, neglectful, most of the time the teachers know that. I promise you these teachers talk to each other. Everybody knows everybody. It's not very often that you find a kid who has awful parents and nobody in the town knows. Nobody even in a big city knows. I'm talking Dallas, Houston. I'm from Texas. Even in these big cities, they know. Oh, they know that these kids are having problems at home. It will show up. But, but you can't punish every parent for those bad parents. Okay? You obviously would deal with it differently if you know that the parents are going to be like, Oh, my kid's trans. I'm going to kick them out and they go eat off the streets. You know, I don't see a lot of parents saying that, but I'm just saying. Let's not punish every parent and tell every parent you don't deserve to know anything about your kid as if we hate them. <laughs> just I just want you to change your heart a little bit, indiv you individual. I don't know your real name, 
I just want you to just look at it from the parent standpoint. I don't know if you got kids, but just look at it from their standpoint. Would you want your, would you, if you had a kid, would you not want to know everything that's going on in their life? Would you prefer a teacher not to tell you or would you and prefer them to hide it from you? Instead of you being able to deal with it? Or would you rather it be hidden from you and you have no idea what's going on with your kid? And now your kid feel like, now it makes it to where the kid can't even trust you as a parent. Is that what you want? If that's what you want, fine. But just come out and say that. And that's why we need to have these discussions, guys. That's why I need to be able to sit down with this individual and talk. And let's have a discussion. Because what happens too much is like what we have to do now. If they make a video, I have to make a video. And we never speak with each other. But who knows? Maybe one day I will. Let me know what y'all guys think. Goodbye.